dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It is discovering what love can be at its best. Now on to the vows. The vows that Caleb and Savannah are about to declare reflect their understanding of life's ever-changing circumstances. Like today, we see the rain. We almost had to, had to play an audible. Life does not go always according to plan. Now, no matter how much pre-planning occurs, sometimes you just have to win. After you speak these words today, things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you will say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. Caleb and Savannah have written their vows, and will read them at this time. Caleb? Okay.
take Savannah as your lawfully wedded wife for now and forever. Savannah, with your promises to Caleb and mine, you take Caleb to be your partner for life. You promise to walk by his side forever and to love, help, and encourage him in all he does. You promise to take time to talk with him, to listen to him, and to care for him. We share his laughter and his tears as his partner, lover, and best friend. You take Caleb as your lawfully wedded husband for now and forever. Any other ring? Caleb and Savannah, these rings are an external and visible sign of the internal bond which unites the two. May they serve as a seal of the vows you have made to me, to one another before God, your family, and friends. Caleb, as you place this ring on Savannah's finger, we be after you. Savannah, I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. Savannah, as you place this ring on Caleb's finger, repeat after me. Caleb, I give you this ring as a daily reminder of my love for you. Before we sign the marriage license, I have one more thing I would like you to do. Your wedding day has already and will continue to fly by. It's a day filled with a roller coaster of emotions, family, friends, pictures, dancing, and all the other festivities that will occur later on this week. I want you to take a few seconds and look into each other's eyes. Think about the happiness that you're feeling right now in this moment. I urge you to let that feeling register in your heart and in your mind and in your soul. Now I want you to think about what your life will be like in 20 years. Know that your visions of the future are not, are not identical, but they always will be complementary. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together, that is reality. That reality starts now. Caleb and Savannah, it's now time to sign your marriage license. for the moment I think you both have been waiting for for a long time. Caleb and Savannah, before God, your families, and all those present today, I happily pronounce you husband and wife. Caleb, buddy, kiss your bride. <laughs>
reception line.
So when I was looking at him, I just thought to myself, well, Caleb just looks like a normal guy, but he's pretty cool. <laughs> but in all seriousness, whenever I look at Savannah and Caleb's relationship, I see true love. And the way that Caleb looks at Savannah is a kind of is the way that it's something that you should never stop searching for. I have no doubt in my mind that Caleb will always support Savannah and love her through it all. And that's enough for me to stand up next to her on her big day and watch her marry the guy that she loves. So here's the love, happiness, and the rest of forever of her nagging you, Caleb. <laughs> and I'd like to remind you that way back in freshman year when we got married in Olympus, she became my wife and you never asked me if you could marry her. <laughs> but I give you your permission to have her and I hope that you love her and love you both. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> um, so I met Savannah and Caleb a few years ago. Um, Douglas was best friends with Caleb in high school, grade school. I don't know. They've known each other for a long time. Um, and, you know, me and Savannah both do hair, so I was like, oh, match made in heaven. That's great. Um, but years later, we really, you know, realized that it was way better than I could hope for. Like, you guys are more like family to me than best friends. Um, when Caleb decided that he was going to propose to Savannah on our Florida trip this year, last year, this year, this year, um, who remembers? Um, I remember that Caleb came to the apartment that day and gave me the engagement ring to take to Florida because um, he didn't want Savannah to find it in their luggage. But, you know, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. I was so nervous. Not like he wasn't. Um, so that trip was really pivotal for our friendship. Um, Kate Lope obviously proposed to Savannah um, on the beach, and it was beautiful, and it was awesome, and more than I'm sure that they could have hoped for. Uh, but what some of you may not know about that trip is that we all got matching tattoos, um, all of us, of the shaka, also known as the hang loose sign. By definition, the hang loose is to relax and retain from taking anything too seriously. So Caleb and Savannah, when things get too hard some days, take time to sit back and remember that we're always here for you. Remember how much you guys love each other, and most importantly, remember to hang loose. Cheers. Next up is one of our best mans, Mr. Doug Dunahee. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, um, as actually said, Caleb and I have been uh, friends for quite some time. It was around freshman year of high school when we made Caleb super close, but uh, this happened the last time. I think I just am not good with microphones. That was like, <laughs> just be a microphone thing. Um, we uh, came really close freshman year, but I knew of Caleb before that. Uh, see, none of you know this, but uh, Caleb broke my ankle the uh, year before high school, uh, the summer before high school. He claims it was because I was fat and slow, and then I'm like, right. I'm, st I'm still blaming him. <laughs> so, long story short, we were playing red ball, baseball against each other. Um, our teams were facing each other. Caleb showed up late to that game. Imagine that. <laughs> and, uh, during the game, he not only uh, threw me out on a uh, hardly hit, I say, ground ball to uh, third, but I ended up breaking my ankle later that game, and I have blamed it on him ever since. Of course, it's not Caleb's fault again, the whole fat and slow thing. So, <laughs> Caleb and I have become basically inseparable on occasion the last few years. We've gone on trips together, talked sports like we actually know what the hell we're talking about, and uh, drank way too much beer, but I think we're even closer now because we both decided it was a good idea to get married. Yeah. <laughs> In all seriousness, Caleb is a very lucky man to have you, Savannah. Uh, whether he wants to admit it or not, you've made him a better man. Made him happier than I've ever seen him before. So thank you for making his life better and also being a great friend to Ashley and I. Caleb, thank you as well for being my best friend. You're my brother and you've been to Ashley as well. You're the most loyal guy I know. I'm happy for you, Savannah. These last few years that we've become so close has been awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys both. You're amazing for each other and amazing people all around. Everybody raise a glass to the newlyweds. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next up, we got Cameron Decker. So, all right. So, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Cameron Decker, and I am honored to be Caleb's best man. 
After countless hours of trying to come up with something, um, I read that somewhere, the best man's speech shouldn't take any longer than it takes the groom to, to make love on his wedding night. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, raise glass. <laughs> I mean, that's not the real ending. I know Caleb since preschool. We've gone through all the grade school together, and, as well as high school. We've played sports together since T-ball, and by the way, we're both very competitive. I'm an only child, and always considered Caleb uh, like a brother to me. Uh, we've had a lot of great times over the years, and quite a few we couldn't remember. I could share a few stories, but I really don't want to incriminate either one of us. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to spend very much time with Savannah. However, I do know that she makes Caleb extremely happy, and that's all I could ever ask for. So, now Savannah, if you could do me a favor and place your hand on the table, please. Oh. Either hand. Caleb, will you place your hand on top of Savannah's? This right here, folks, is the last time you'll ever see Caleb have the upper hand. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. All right, we're going to play a couple songs. I think a couple of the uh, bridal party has to go to the bathroom or something. They're going to come out and do first dances. So, run to the bathroom if you got to go. Savannah has to move. Savannah and Caleb, as they dance their first dance as husband and wife. Thank you. 
there if we can get your mom Wendy to the dance floor.
Oh, one, and two. 